Hi. Nice to be with you today. I want to start from the beginning, from where we, the second generation, started after my father, after Sheikh Zayed. So I want to show you something maybe you haven't seen before, and I hope you enjoy it. Can we start? Okay. This is the boys of Abu Dhabi in 1958. And this is what inspired me to write the book From Rags to Riches, The Story of Abu Dhabi. Bearing in mind the, these children whom you definitely have heard about and met and today you would probably be part of that of, the, of those children's family. I will not tell you which one I am because <laughs> I am <laughs> thank you <laughs> But these children grew up to become businessmen, ministers in government, ambassadors, and they have represented Abu Dhabi at first, and then United Arab Emirates in all walks of life. And I'm very proud of what they have achieved. This is a school our first school in Abu Dhabi. As you can see, we were very few children in those days. We were 60 children in those days going to the same school. There were no, bo no girls' schools. It was the only school available to us. And this is a photo of the same school, uh, children leaving that uh, And what is common among the three photos you have seen so far is that all the students were actually shoeless, barefooted. They had no shoes on. It's not because we couldn't afford the shoes, but we didn't, couldn't wear a shoe in those days because it was too sandy to walk with a shoe. So we left the shoes at home. This is our way of life. This is a typical picture of a, an old man with a little girl. These are the same pictures you will see in most of the slides. Abu Dhabi, during the, or before the time of Sheikh Zayed. As you can see, it was mostly sandy, very nice actually. These are the homes we lived in. And this is our transportation. This is a picture of horsemen. And this is the only transporta transportation we had in those days, in the, 19, in the, in the 60s. Horses camels and donkeys. And then something new starts. The oil is, has been found in the region of Abu Dhabi. And that did actually transform a little of our life, but not enough to be reckoned or to be developed or to be educated. Unfortunately, the oil revenues did not filter through to the society before 1966 because of one man who actually made that possible. This is Abu Dhabi during the exploration of the oil. That's when people were looking to expand the oil fields. 
this is the way of life mostly of the oil companies who came to Abu Dhabi. The airport in Abu Dhabi, it was flat sand, no runway, and the plane can land anywhere, and as you can see, people have to carry their own baggage in and out. The port of Abu Dhabi, very down to earth, very minimum, and this is part of the exploration oil fields in Dash Island, on Das Island. The center of Abu Dhabi, this is the municipality. That's where all things happen. Nice building, but there was nothing happening, really. Unlike your municipality today. <laughs> Some of Alain buildings and Abu Dhabi as well. And then something happens. A man from our own society, just like a Bedouin like us, a down-to-earth person, takes over the reins of rulership in Abu Dhabi. And that's, what, and that's when the wheel starts turning. As you can see, a Bedouin like any, anybody else, that's him and my father on the Alain, in Alain here sometime. Part of our society, he knew everyone by name. He knew everywhere around this part of his country. And when he took over, he was a leader, a true leader, a leader not only who loved his people, who actually dreamed of greater things in life for us and for his people, and worked very hard. He did literally 20 to 18 hours a day from 5 o'clock in the morning to very late at night, working, planning, supervising, and actually becoming like a foreman on every project. He knew every project, what is, where it is, and how it is being done. And he followed this program throughout. He participated in our social life. This is a visit to the first club of sports club in Abu Dhabi or social club in Abu Dhabi. It was called the, the Ahli Club. It is no longer there now. It is joined with another club and became the Al Wahda Club. This is a, a visit to the same club. As it happened, I was the chairman of the club. And uh, you can tell, I'm uh, Ainawi, but a Wahdawi at the same time. Because <laughs> I, I was part, I was one of those who actually set up the Al Wahda Club in Abu Dhabi, with the Ahli Club and the Abu Dhabi Club joined together. One of his good deeds of Sheikh Zayed when he started. He actually was so concerned and so determined to teach us. So he sent us, he gathered us, few of our friends. As, as a matter of fact, these are the same children you saw in the first photograph going to London. And we got, got to London, and we, that's where we got our education, because he was determined to teach us and to educate us to be future leaders of our country. Sheikh Zayed planning. This is our first town planner in Abu Dhabi. His name was Dr. Takahashi. He was a Japanese. He was the only Japanese in the whole of the Emirate at the time. In fact, he was so lost, he didn't even know where he was. 
<laughs> okay. A construction site. One of the Sheikh Zayed's habits was always to supervise construction, wherever it is, a local houses or a big project. He loves being part of that construction and, and as if he is going to live in it himself. Every house he, that he built, he suited it or he, he, he tailored it to be as good for his people as if he was living in it himself. And this is the result of what he did. He moved us from the 16th century to the 20th century in a matter of 30 years, in a matter of one generation. This is a feat that no other country, no other nation has achieved. And we are very thankful to him. And he created the Federation, United Arab Emirates. One of our proudest achievement in this area. No other federation has ever succeeded in the Arab world like the United Arab Federation. Therefore, I'm not only fortunate to have been born in this country, in this town, Al Ain. I didn't know it at the time of my first picture, but today I am proud to be a, an Emirati. Thank you. That's the today's picture, and to move literally from our first photograph to this photograph is like moving from rags to riches. <laughs> Just before uh, he passed away, he visited us in the house. And this, is a, this photo was taken in our house in Abu Dhabi. He was like a father to us all. And I'm sure we all felt his loss. And we pray for his soul every day of our life. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.